Hello, I'm Brigantia Blackbird of Blackbird's Brew. Happy Wednesday and welcome back to the Hava Mall. This week we're looking at verse 58. And so we're going to begin by examining three different translations. The first translation reads, He must rise betimes who fain of another or life or wealth would win. Scarce falls the prey to sleeping wolves or to slumberers, victory and strife. That's all of prey. Second translation. Early shall he rise who has designs on another's land or life. His prey escapes the prone wolf. The sleeper is seldom victorious. That's W.H. Auden and P.B. Taylor. Final translation coming from the Cowboy Hoffamall. Don't sleep too late. That's no way to get things done. If you mean to do business, get going. A lazy wolf never caught a sheep. A sleeping man never earned a dime. And that is Dr. Jackson Crawford. And this verse is so straightforward, it scarcely requires further comment. I mean, wake up, go about your business, don't dawdle. And yes, it's a treat to sometimes wake up slowly, take your time, ease your way into the day, uh, possibly getting out of your pajamas sometime before noon, maybe. Uh, but it's probably not a good idea to do that every single day. Now, once in a while, it's relaxing, refreshing, but it is absolutely impractical to try and go through all of life in that mode. The later we start, the harder it is to get anything done by a reasonable hour, and the harder it is to have a decent routine, and the more likely we are to be working long hours into the night when we would have been relaxing if we had just been more prompt attending to our own affairs. So procrastination doesn't do us any favors, and it can create stress, especially if we have deadlines to contend with. And I don't know about you, but I am not looking for more sources of stress, and it certainly doesn't seem like a good idea to create self-inflicted stress. The other thing I want to point out in this verse is the importance it places upon productive work. Earn your living. Get out there, produce something, trade goods and services, bring value into the world, and then collect the rewards for it. Nor spirituality does not encourage uh, the mentality in which a person expects to get something for nothing. Whether it's spiritual insight or money, work for what you want to get. And don't wait for someone else to provide it for you. Get out there and get something done. Whatever your work is, stay on top of it, do it well, strive to improve. So the more we internalize this principle and put it into practice, the more we will stand out especially in this day and age. So that's what I got out of the verse this week. Uh, share your own impressions with me in the comments below or come see us on Gilded. Uh, the link to join Blackbird's Brew is in the description box. And if you want to have more of a well-rounded out conversation, you would be very welcome among us there. But uh, that'll do it for now. And I'll see you next time. Bye.